Hey guys, it's Friday, July 21st, 2017, and I'm here again with Mandy and Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Michael. And hey, Mandy. Hey, Michael. So I'm always excited to share room designs with you guys, so let's do this. Now, here's the first one. I love this one. It's really well done. It was sent in by Violet, and it's an antique bookshop. This is gorgeous. It yes. is so magical. Wow, yes. With the turquoise little bits and then the dark reds and the brown. Oh, I love this room. Yeah, now Michelle, what kind of wallpaper is that? That is from, oh, it's... Countryside Cottage? No, no, no. no it's... Or the Enchanted Cottage? It could be the Enchanted Cottage. Mm -hmm. Yes, I okay. think you're right. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know, but it's really, really beautiful. I know it is from the East Door. The flooring I really love as well. And this looks exactly what Violet set out to do. It looks like an antique bookshop. And look at all these little nooks and, and corners with these bookshelves, which actually you can get in the W Shop. They're from the Wizard theme. And they have these beautiful little seating areas with these oversized candles as well that gives I it a really know. nice, antique enchanty kind of feel. The candles just look like they've been there forever, <laughs> which is so perfect for the antique yeah. look yes. feel, They're from right? the Pioneer theme, yeah. actually, yeah. And this is another one of those rooms that you could kind of fold in half right down the middle, and they'd kind of mirror each side but I thought it was really really done so great job Violet lots of little things hidden there now the next one I have today is a Valentine room and it was sent in by Colorado Star now of course Valentine's Day has long since passed but this is a really beautiful room that really pays tribute to Valentine's Day you know what? I love how even the path almost makes the shape of a heart. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. It's so cute. Like the flowers are so pretty. And those are marshmallow plants, right? Are those like seedlings? Seeds, that you, mm -hmm. seeds that you can plant. Cool. And then you um, can harvest them. But the wackiness of the zangos is so <laughs> funny because it's all very pretty. And then there's like zangos who just add sort of a fun touch to it. Yeah. And Michelle, that marshmallow tree actually to the left, is that a marshmallow dispenser tree as well? It is. It's one of our candy trees, and it's called the marshmallow flower tree. That's cool. So lots of marshmallows these players can get during Valentine's Day. And also, yeah, that cookie dispenser, too. And um, there's that little go-kart that's on that heart-shaped track, and that was a grand prize that we gave away this year for Valentine's Day. Or maybe it was the year before. I, I forget offhand, but it definitely was a Valentine's Day grand prize. So great job, Colorado Star. Let's move on. Now, I thought this was really well organized and really designed and very stately here, but it's Clinton's Yard, and this was sent in by 1949 SMS. Now, this totally looks like a really cool backyard that you would find maybe at a, some fancy estate. Yeah, I love the way they've used. Now, those, I think, are the classic villa pieces. Yes, they? there's From... actually quite a few in here. Yeah. The pool and the outdoor kitchen, the outdoor sink and the tall trees and even the floor tile. I love that kitchen. Sorry. And it's a dispenser as well, right? Is oh, it is or it? is it not? It's a stove. Actually. Oh, OK. It's a stove. It's a stove. The dispenser cool. with this theme was a bread cart. Mm. Oh, okay. cool. oh, nice. But, <laughs> yeah. And those trees, I know those aren't from the theme, the stone table and chair, but I right. think they work really well together because it all has that old world feel to it and it's just it just looks very classic although I like the fact that there's still like a fun trampoline to hop on and you know <laughs> a, a cooler because even if you have like the most you know fabulous villa you have to carry your stuff out to the barbecue <laughs> in your cooler exactly <laughs> and they've got the pool house and a hammock beautiful yes Lots of stuff going on here. Great job, 1949 SMS. Let's move on. Here's another backyard, or it's a garden. It's a garden of peace, and this was sent in by Haku305. Now, lots of flowers going on here, and a lot of them, at least those rows that you see on the left side of the room, those we gave away during our spring celebration event, or you could win them. But I love that little duck pond there. It's so cute. They have these little ducklings that we also, it was this year's spring celebration prize that you could get. Yeah, I love how they've taken that kind of marshed out floor tile and surrounded by the tulips to make it look like a cute little duck pond. I like the way they've bordered it. Like you can see, this is almost like a sort of manicured garden and they plan for, it's not like a wild pond where the ducks are. They've planned for this little area and there are all sorts of places to sit when you visit the garden. And of course there's that other- so peaceful. Be yeah, yeah, beautiful. And that other beautiful pond with the little bridge is so pretty too. Exactly. This is somewhere I would love to spend some time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I should say, actually, those prizes you win during spring celebration by feeding your, your pet milk chocolate eggs. So there you go. Maybe some white chocolate eggs, too. But let's move on here. Now, this one's really cool, and it's really well done. It's a berry barn dance, and this was sent in by Inkblot. Now, 
I love this because what you see that they've done here, they've added um, that star wallpaper and taken the mirrors from um, our dance studio theme and added them to either side of the wallpaper. So it makes it almost look like there's a barn dance happening, but they've opened the front of the barn and it's just exposed out into the night and it's really calming and beautiful, but it has such a sense of fun as well. Yeah, and the fact that they use that grass tile adds to that whole effect yes. where you're sort of in a rumor building, but then it's all open out into this beautiful yard area. It's really, really clever. I, I don't think I've seen a room organized in that way before. And of course, the pillars help yeah. too to sort of From establish. From Drummelberry Fields. Yeah, yeah they absolutely. Establish They're like where, doorways yeah, yeah, exactly. And when you're dancing up a storm and you get too hot, you can just <laughs> stroll outside and cool down and have yourself a little slice of pie. Yep, exactly. Now, Michelle, where are those lanterns from? Do you know? Are those East Door? I think they're, they're Fall Fest prizes. Oh, okay. They're so perfect. The lanterns, so no, actually the lanterns, oh. We no, no, no. We have two different versions of those columns that you can get from Jumbleberry Fields. One of them has the ladder on it and then the other one has the lantern. No, and, no, oh, I meant, sorry, down right in, in this the front. front. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The, those lanterns, yeah, yeah. But actually, I thought you were meaning those lanterns on the yeah, columns. Those but, yeah, those are cool too. The, it is cool. There are two different. So one has a ladder, one has a lamp, and the lamp you can click to turn on and off. Really cool. And there's one of my favorite family score prizes, that piano on the left. So great yeah. job, Ink Flot. Let's move on. Now there's a lot going on here and I love this room. It's an enchanted castle and it was sent in by Ruby Cubes. Isn't this cool? So we have these turrets that we've released several times like for different things. There's East Door ones. I think the one with the brown top that you see, that one was actually available during a deluxe monthly challenge at some point. But Ruby Cubes has taken a few of them, bunched them together and framed them with those beautiful gates from the W shop to create the illusion of this grand castle surrounded by these beautiful enchanted gardens. So really, really well done. And I think they've also used those build-a-wall kits, have they? Like yeah, that the just, ivy stone wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that just makes the perfect way to sort of frame it in the background too. And and the Adventure Park ride fits so perfectly over on the right. right. And all the wild colored trees, just it's such a fantasy. Yes, I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale here. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and there's so many little pets just hidden in this. Every time totally. I look in a different corner, I see a new pet's face. I know. Is that a frog prince? In the foreground? Yeah. <laughs> and he's sitting in that little boat, which was the Tiger Lily's PSI, the Tiger Lily Pup. And the tiger, tiger Lily Pup was actually our first fan design pet that actually we created into a pet that you could get at the East store, which I believe is still available, right, Michelle? Oh, it sure is, yep. So very cool. Great job, Ruby Cubes. Let's move on here. We only have a few more left. This one is a simple spring bedroom, and it was sent in by Coco Kitty. Now, this is a really simple design. Not a lot of stuff were added here, but it looks beautiful and everything ties together so well. You know what? I love how they've taken items from different themes, but because they've managed to pick out colors, they all work together. Like, I've never seen this round chair in the foreground, but the different colored pillows pick up the stripes in the floor, and then I, I know... I think it's a PSI. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I know that couch is from the new party theme, right? Right. And even the confetti just sort of, it, it's neat because they picked up all these different colors, and it all all works together really, really well. And the cute Silly Scoops poster oh, on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's the uh, flooring from the Stripes theme, which is really cool because it has that reflective kind of feel to it. It feels like the sun's coming through those windows. The wallpaper from the ballerina theme or the dance studio theme. So really well done. Great job, Coco Kitty. Let's move on here. Now we've seen a lot of these different chocolate shops, but I thought this one was really unique. It's a chocolate shop that was sent in by Resolution 265. And so they've combined some of these chocolate shop items that we gave away during our Valentine's collection event with some of the items that you could make during our original bake sale when you combine baked goods on a stove. So what do you guys think about this one? That's such a clever idea to pick out the chocolate chip columns. And I think mm -hmm. the wallpaper was from the bake sale event too, right? And then to mix it with the chocolate shop. And I was going to say, I think Resolution 265 has made it to the mall in spring <laughs> yes. since yeah. our last release because that fireplace is brand new. And it looks really great there too. Perfect. The way the way they've placed it in between those two columns, the colors all work really well together. Exactly, this is almost a mirror image room, but they've done subtle oh, little yeah. changes that make it just come together as one room instead of a complete mirror. 
Very true, very well done. Resolution 265. Let's move on. This is the last one we're gonna see today. Now we've seen a lot of gardens recently, maybe because it's summertime, but this is Missy Mouse's Countryside Garden and it was sent in by Rowney Is Me. This room looks like one of those overgrowth garden rooms, but it's so colorful and so beautiful. And I bet you Round Is Me spent a lot of time and care placing each one of these items. For sure, yeah, it's popping with life. Like there's things growing, both vegetables and flowers. It looks a little bit chaotic, but at the same time, plans. So it, it's kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, you feel like Missy Mouse is always very busy working on this garden because mm -hmm. it's just, it's there's something in every corner. And, and but right now, at least she gets to rest with her <laughs> <laughs> friend. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. So great job and great job to everybody who sent us a room design. Keep them coming. You can send them to us at letsbuild.gans.com. Mandy, Michelle, thank you guys for sharing them with me today. Thank you. Thanks. And guys, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>